Are you bringing the kids carefully across there? Okay. We are creating a giant living painting of a Shao swallowtail butterfly, which is very highly endangered. We've hired the Oregon artist Daniel Dancer to come help us create a living painting. Today's inspiration was this endangered local butterfly, the swallowtail butterfly. We've been working on the design for a while and I just put it on the ground with the grid system and then everybody collected all these blue jeans for the sky around it and it worked out really good. It was just, they're all a big lesson in collaboration, what you can do when you work together with lots of people. Okay guys, orange, just wait. We're gonna do yellow first. Okay. The kids are learning how to collaborate and work together. We've studied endangered animals before. In 2009, we created a loggerhead sea turtle, but this time we're studying the shell swallowtail. Um, so they're learning about environmental protection and how to work in their community and work together and collaborate. We're making a shell swallowtail butterfly out of sky art, and I like doing this because it's fun. I'm excited that um, we're all going to be in this um, swallowtail butterfly and, um, and, and um, well, um, it's going to be like extremely big. This is our second event with Daniel Dancer. We did the loggerhead turtle in 2009, so to bring him back this year and to honor another animal or insect, insect that's close to extinction just um, warms our heart and we're very happy to work with him again. We need you, the adults that aren't in the design right now, you need to come in because we need more black. So wave your hand if you're by some, an area that needs more black. There's a lot of students who are going to get an opportunity to participate in this really, really special art making activity. And it's a wonderful thing not only for the students, but also for the teachers. Um, it's a wonderful lesson in things like intention in the art making process, also connectivity, our relationship with the earth and the living things that are here, as well as the idea of impermanence. So we're talking about a lot of kind of deep philosophical overarching ideas while we're doing a really, really fun activity. Come this way. Nature is important to us, and uh, we take this time to teach our children about how, how important nature is, and so that's what I want them to take away. You know, it can be fun, but still seri on a serious note as well. Hey Kim, we need to go up in the train now. Here you are. was so vivid it was almost like looking at a real butterfly just breathtaking I saw all of my students coming together collaborating getting their sky sight on and making a beautiful shall swallow butterfly and it was an incredible feeling as a principal I'm so proud of all of my trailblazers and I'm just thankful for the beautiful day and the wonderful faculty and staff and students that we have here at the Seto Trail What these projects are about is teaching kids to see the big picture because our we have so many problems in the world because our view is too small. We need to learn how to see the big picture, see how everything's connected, see what humans do that it's causing so many problems on the planet. And we can only do that by having what I call our sky sight on. And that's what they said at the end, get your sky sight on. 